Hello, nice people. I have a decent history of Bark River 3V knives. Typically, this knife is made out of 3V. Gunny Hunter drop point, totally drop point from the handle to the blade. It's a fast knife, fast backstrap remover. And uh, this edge angle was a bit larger than 30 degrees because of a micro bevel, only one side maybe, I remember that. And I ground down to zero convex to make this angle 30. Not super sharp as A2 knives, but sharp enough and very, very durable in 30 degrees, 3 V years. This came in a ridiculously large angle, like 40 degrees. Look at this scandy vex, how they call. Mm, scandy convex, maybe. So, I raised this side bevel, only this side, flat, higher, to make 30 degrees. I don't need 25 to this knife, because I am used to using 30 degree knives, and I already knew that 30 degree is the best angle for 3B to tough enough and sharp enough simultaneously. I am used to 30 degrees to all of my 3V knives. This one, 3V, Bravo 1.5, which came in 35 degrees because of a micro bevel. I eliminated it with water stones to make a bit smaller than 30 degrees, but uh, it took edge problems, tiny problems, very easily after light wood job. Then I raised the angle, something like 30, and after that it uh, did not take any edge problems at all. Pretty durable. I like this 6 mil thickness to baton wood, regular size wood uh, in the nature. But in my garage, I like 7 mil Japanese hatchet to baton with. But generally speaking, 6 mil is the best thickness to baton with in the nature, as I said repeatedly, I'm sorry. And I love this 6 mil thickness to baton with. But uh, after having this knife, Bravo 1.5, I haven't uh, needed this knife for batoning wood. Too short. This is right to baton with. Therefore, I dropped this point down to fit hunting to go out of the muscle faster, to cut fast, to cut quick, Ari getting out of the straps, something like that. Fast knife is drop point in my experience. So this is a hunting bravo one. Anyway, I will show you this angle through the microscope. As I said, it once took micro edge problems and I raised the angle like 30 degrees. Thirty is 
the right angle in my experience from my experience for 3v and uh, this is a2 but uh, I have ever abused this edge uh, sometimes and restored uh, it sometimes and finally it took 30 degrees around that as you can see to the shining portion near the edge you will see it through the microscope As you can see, this is now currently 30. And after those experiences, I am not stuck to 25 degrees, but 30 degrees is okay to me now for Bug River knives, all A2 and 3B. I don't need so sharp angle as before, then this knife came to me from Mr. Jason Thome, the owner of DLT Trading. He seems like uh, uh, to be friendly with Great Lake Leather Works. This knife came with this sheath. I think this is waterproof sheath. Uh, reddish dark brown not this bright brown please remember this depth like this much uh, gap here therefore I have no anxiety to cut the thread from inside which I have ever done to my Ghani sheath this is similar to Ghani sheath but uh, feels much sturdier than the original Ghani sheath hmm. nice fit anyway the knife itself Ghani Ah, uh, sorry Bravo 1 Light Hunter Drop Point Hunter Similar to my homemade drop point It happens to be Hmm A tiny bit stronger drop point than my homemade one but as you can see this bevel height is higher than A2 version this flat portion is narrower on the A2 version high grind and uh, thin as thin as uh, regular knives as thin as Ghani Hunter, maybe the same thick weight feels lighter than Ghani Hunter. Strange can be skeletonized. Tang balance is here, here, but heavy near the neutral. Neutral, yes. This tongue has to be skeletonized and lighter than Gani Hunter. Just a moment. A2 Bravo 1 in bamboo. 189. 
ブラボーワンドロップポイントハンターライトインココポロ172ガニーハンターインディザートアイアンウッド151172 20g ヘビア Anyway, I will need to x-ray this time later Anyway, it feels much lighter than this one Yes, it feels lighter for some reason Balance Yes, this is a hand heavy knife This is a neutral balance knife on the first finger, on the groove, just front, and just between this and this, here. Therefore, it feels much lighter than Gani Hunter.、Mm. Bravo balance point. As assumed, this Bravo 3V Light Hunter is skeletonized. This is A2 version. Less skeletonized. And、uh, look at this pin. Kobe bolt. Yes. Screw Kobe bolt. Anyway, the problem is this bevel height for 3V. Too high. This edge angle is too small. If it didn't have a micro bevel, this、uh, final apex angle would make 20 degrees too small. But don't be afraid, it has a micro bevel, as you can see. And、uh, I am thinking that I will not sharpen or eliminate this micro bevel. As I said, this bevel geometry is too thin. No bevel transition, very thin geometry. I cannot remove this micro bevel. So, I will strop this edge up、uh, with a compound loaded leather. If it took me uh, some uh, 10 minutes, no problem. I don't need、uh, 25 degree sharpness, but I do need 30 degree sharpness for three V edges. It's enough. Same. Same. Same, same. Just a moment. Mm, a bit stronger resistance from this edge. Sharper.、Mm. This is the dullest so far, but stropping will make it a bit sharper. This is the Bravo One Light、uh, Drop Point Hunter version from DLT Trading, a gift from Mr. Jason Thorne. Thank you very much. I will try it out when I have a chance where I get a big stack. It's a large game knife, as it is. As this is. This comparison will be interesting. Same. 
cutting edge length. Belly line, this is a bit rounder. Choking up, same for a big game. These two knives will make a very interesting test. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.